work on a specialised ward, working with people with mild learning disabilities or who are on the autistic spectrum. I'd recommend this type of work to others because it's such a rewarding job. It's an opportunity to make a difference to somebody's life, to help somebody live a meaningful and better life. We all want a good life. We all have similar goals in life, but sometimes people don't have the means to achieve those goals. Um, they can sometimes take shortcuts and encounter problems, so, and sometimes end up um, engaging in criminal activity and then end up in our service. I've, I've had 18 years of uh, mental health issues. Basically, I haven't been in trouble in those years. And I one night, stupidly, went out uh, doing graffiti art um, and got caught, got put into a cell. Um, and it was very frightening for me at my age. The cars team came in and uh, it was a guy called David Cooper and he, he helped me calm down and uh, he, he was good, good with me. He actually t told me about other ways of looking at my life, etc. It was quite a, a life-changing situation. Uh, and he got uh, a woman called Carol to meet me at the court to help me calm down and keep calm. And Dave Cooper at Cars and Carol really made me look at my life differently because they were compassionate and they actually wanted to know what I was like. And they actually went to the services, the actual mental health services in my area to help me get better help. Often service users come to our service quite distressed, facing a number of different difficulties in life. Um, they may face difficulties relating to their learning disabilities or autism, may not have had many opportunities previously in life, they may not have had opportunities to develop friend many friendships, relationships, work opportunities, um, meaningful activities. So we really work closely with service users, developing a therapeutic relationship, getting to know the service users very well. We build upon their strengths, their interests, ultimately supporting service users to achieve their goals in life. Um, it's great just supporting service users, developing new skills, sometimes that may be something small as making a cup of tea, learning to read or write, helping them with money, those skills to help them achieve a more independent and meaningful life. Um, it's a very positive job for me and it, I make a positive impact on service users' lives. So until recently in Bournemouth, people with drug dependencies were stuck on a substitute prescription. Um, with the introduction of AWP into the treatment system, 55% are now on a reduction of their script. This has meant that people are now reintegrating into their local communities and also moving into employment. And this has also meant that we have now got quite a vibrant recovery system in Bournemouth. It's important that people understand people, people who have autism so we can be accepted in the world. The three triads of autism are difficulties with social communication, difficulty with social interaction and difficulty with social imagination. It's a lifelong impairment. The most significant word to me is structure. Structure is important for people with autism as it puts routine, in it, routine into your life, which we need. How has my life changed with Bass? It puts structure into my life, something I didn't have first of all. And it also allows me to communicate with other people in this building who understand me. I'm on a rehab ward now, long stay unit. It's the biggest ward in the hospital with 15 bed. I'm also I'm really pleased that I was successful in my interview for nurse training, so I should be going, I'll be going to university in September to do my nurse training, and that just feels good because over the last two years of working in Froomside, I've worked really closely with the nursing staff, picked up lots of their skills, and they've really helped me and kind of supported me through getting to this stage in my career now, if you like. Even though working on the acute ward was very challenging and unpredictable, I felt a huge amount of support from my fellow colleagues. The healthcare assistants and the nurses all support each other and um, 
The team has been just so supportive. It's enabled me to feel safe working in the acute environment. Without the support, I'd not be able to support the service users, you know. Sadly, in 2011, um, my daughter died of anorexia. And just prior to that, she had um, been involved here at STEPS. She had been referred to STEPS a couple of months before her death. Um, and so I had um, got to know the team. When you lose a child, you can kind of sit in that pain and that hurt, or you can allow yourself to, uh, for it to push you to try and make a difference. And I kind of wanted to use that energy, if you like, that pain and, and hurt to um, go out and, and, and try and, and make that difference. At um, AWP, I was taken on as a peer mentor uh, for the, the trust um, and within that I now facilitate the carers group. It obviously has helped having been a mum and uh, walked that journey and so I feel that I can give a degree of empathy to that. When you've gone through that incredibly painful process of, of losing a child, um, coming back into the environment and working with people who are going through that um, does take courage and I think it's taken me quite some time to, to, to recognise that and I do feel proud of myself, of the team and of AWP to allow us all to work together to make a difference. Last year, you're a little bit sad sometimes, a little bit changeable, yes, yeah. A bit up and down, but changeable. Yeah, sometimes I was feeling low. So I'm from the Specialised Deaf Service and we support deaf people and deaf blind people like Tony who have um, mental health needs. Um, more deaf, pe deaf people have a higher rate of mental health problems than, than hearing people, so it's really important that they're supported in a way that's meaningful to them. Um, and that means in, in sign language usually or hands-on sign language for deaf blind people. It's really nice to hear that. You're a really strong deaf person. I'm, I'm, I'm a proud deaf person. And we also believe it's really important to be able to access information in sign language. So we've, we've just translated quite a large amount of the AWP website into sign language. I was diagnosed by the Wiltshire Autistic Diagnostic Service last year, age 39, with Asperger syndrome. The diagnosis has been life-changing. To know one is different, rather than just knowing one feels different, is a major step in self-discovery and is also useful to those whom I come into contact with. The diagnostic process was very thorough, which made something potentially difficult very positive, despite the honesty required to get through the process, which was of course challenging and required facing up to things I'd become so skilled at ignoring. I didn't know Asperger syndrome existed until recently, and feel so privileged to have heard about the Wiltshire Autistic Diagnostic Service from my GP. I feel as though I'd been waiting to attend this service my whole life. It's a chance to develop skills and knowledge. There's the flexibility to move between different types of wards to an area that really suits you. Um, no day is the same. It's so diverse, the work that we do. And there's, there's definitely never a dull moment. You get, get to make some great therapeutic relationships um, and get a real job satisfaction.